Hello friends, SchoolSteps.in welcomes you all. Before we jump on to write applications for Android Wear, we need to understand what wearable device is and what it can do. Wearable device is definitely not the replacement of the cell phone device. Rather, it is a companion to the cell phone device. A study reveals that the average user now picks up their cell phone device more than 1500 times in a week, which is a big number. Android Wear is a great help here and it saves a lot of time. Let's understand what Android Wear can do. What is Android Wear? Android Wear organizes your information, suggests what you are going to need and shows it to you before you even ask. You can get messages from your friends meeting notifications and weather updates at a glance. With Android Wear, you always stay connected. Android Wear gets paired with your cell phone device using the Bluetooth and you receive texts, emails, WhatsApp and Facebook notifications, tweets, etc. on your Android Wear device as soon as you get it. Not only this, you can get the latest information about the areas you are interested in. You can get reminders on your Android Wear device. Reminders could be location based or time based. The first image is an example of the location based reminders and the second image is an example of time based reminders. You can set the reminders as well. You just need to say OK Google and your Android Wear is ready to take your voice instructions. Now to set the reminder, you need to say Remind me and then you need to tell about your reminder. For example, remind me to buy flowers at 7.45 pm. You can set both time based and location based reminders. With Android Wear, you can check how long does it take to reach a location. You can start the navigation using the Android Wear. You just need to say OK Google and your Android Wear is ready to take your instructions. Then you need to say navigate to plus your destination. For example, you need to say navigate to Times Square, New York. It will give you turn by turn navigation and you will never miss a lead to your destination. Using Android Wear, you can get the latest information about your flight. You can do the voice search using the Android Wear. All you need to say is OK Google and it will give you the information that you need. You can ask anything what, when and how. Using the Android Wear, you can track your fitness as well. It counts the steps you take in a day. You can get the information on the weather forecast. Using Android Wear, you can also set the voice memos. Again, all you need to say is OK Google and after that, you need to say take a note and then the details of your note. You can get the latest information of the things happening around you. Last but not the least, you can get a choice to change the watch face. There are multiple watch faces available and you can change it every day as per your requirement. Let's talk about the creative vision for the Android Wear. The first point is that Android Wear gets launched automatically. Most people are used to launching applications by clicking on an icon. Android Wear is different. Wearable applications are aware of users context time, location, physical activity and so on. The applications use this information to insert cards into the stream when they become relevant. This makes Android Wear timely, relevant and very specific. Android Wear devices are glanceable. If we talk about a classical wrist watch, it is designed to let you see the time in a split second. Designing for Android Wear is similar. The less time it takes to use your software, the more time the user can be present in whatever they are doing. Android Wear is fast, sharp and immediate. Android Wear is all about suggest and demand. When we talk about suggest, Android Wear is like a great personal assistant. It knows you and your preferences. It only interrupts you when absolutely necessary. 
and it is always on your hand to provide a ready answer. For example, Android Wear reminds you of your flight details. It reminds you about the hotel in which you have made the reservations. These are the example of the suggest. If we talk about demand, demand is for the cases where the Android Wear doesn't suggest you an answer proactively. In these cases, the Q card allows users to speak to the Google. So in brief, demand is where you are demanding something from the Android Wear. Zero or low interaction, Android Wear focuses on the simple interactions only requiring input by the user when it is absolutely necessary. Most inputs are based around touch swipes or voice and inputs requiring the fine grained finger movements are avoided. So this is in brief about the creative vision for the Android Wear. Friends, with this I take your leave. Thank you so much. Please like our page on facebook.com slash let's android. If you have any query, do write us at info at schoolsteps.in or schoolstepsin at gmail.com. Thank you.